Uh, hello, this is a short discussion about the optional display modes in an ENC chart. Um, one of the unique features of the ENC uh, charts is that the user can decide how much detail they want to show on the screen and customize quite a bit of the of what we're looking at. And so the, uh, there's a national international standard on uh, the minimum of these controls. And uh, I have some notes here on this. This document's available in our uh, in our classroom for our online uh, electronic chart navigation course classroom. Uh, so there's three, uh, there's actually three categories of, of uh, chart objects that, uh, that uh, they use in the S52 standard. One is called base and these are just, these are those basically raw outline of the chart. I'll show you what's exactly in those in a moment. And they show no matter what you are doing, you, can, you always have the base objects. And it's understood, it's understood that these are not adequate for navigation. We might use them though uh, in practice for Oh, looking at, or maybe you're just looking at the weather, or you just want to look at all where all the current stations are located, and you don't want to be confused by lights and buoys and various other things. And some, uh, so it's a way to look at charts, but it's not not something you would use for navigation. The standard, what they call the standard display, is uh, turns on most of the objects people would care about in routine navigation. However, I want to show that there's a couple really notable ones that don't, that are not part of the standard display that we have to turn on, and then show how uh, the, the program we're using, uh, QTVLM, uh, resolves that issue. Uh, then all the uh, all the objects that are not in the base display or the standard display are called other other objects, and then every program, just about every navigation program, will have a way to turn on just base, just standard, and they usually will have a way to turn on all the objects. All the objects I'm going to show in a moment. It's going to be way too confusing always, and so you very rarely reuse all, but you could use custom, which means show, um, it turns on all and then you shut off the ones you don't want. And here, more to the point, on the, in the program QTVLM, they have something they call detailed display, which is the one you can customize and is most likely the, the, the one you want to use. So in the base display, we're just looking at the, these are details like the chart borders and latitude and longitude. It shows land, and it shows uh, dangers above the water like bridges, and and it shows the shorelines and the safety contour. The safety contour. Now that's another whole subject, but the, that is a key part of ENC charts. Uh, I mean, of electronic navigational charts, and the safety contour is always going to be showing, and then it will show dangers that are underwater providing the uh, providing the sounding of that danger is uh, shallower than the safety contour or no sounding is given and I'll do it I can do an example of that actually I think I have it showing right now okay so here's an example this happens to be a fictitious chart but it's an area where it's showing uh, it's showing a base display now the contours are the con the con the this is a safety contour here but these are showing and these soundings are showing simply because uh, they're turned on here you see we have the soundings turned on that's not part of that's not part of the base display and you see that would that would be more like that for the base display this here is going to be the uh, the uh, the um, safety contour and if I right click that and ask for the chart elements that is uh, what is that a, a depth contour of 10 meters that's 10 meters and so this, this object that's showing up here, if we right click that and say, uh, what is that? That's got to, oh, that's interesting. Okay, that brings up another point. But what that is, it's a wreck, a dangerous wreck whose sounding is 4.2 meters. And that's shallower than 10. That's shallower than 10, therefore this is, and it's outside, and it's outside of the safety contour. So it's going to show up with this isolated danger symbol, and that's what it is. The interesting thing is, it claims there's a light here. Well, 
we don't see any light there, but the point is there is a light there. And that's because I'm looking at the base display that doesn't show lights. If I switch to the uh, standard display, which shows lights, and then I can do with the keystrokes here, let's see, that would be S, standard. Now we see that indeed there is a light right here. And so this is now then the standard display, which puts on the buoys and the lights and some other information. Again, the interesting thing is that contours and soundings are not part of the standard display. I would have to go in here and actually turn on the soundings if I want the soundings on. And I could, and you could, of course, here I'm I'm doing uh, two. Co I'm doing keystrokes to turn on this uh, to get this control panel. These keystrokes are discussed in other places in our materials, uh, but I can turn off the lights if I want to, even on the standard display. Is this? But I can control it by turning these things on and off, like that. Okay. So let's go then. Let me go to turn on. Uh, this is all. Now you see when I turn on all, things starts getting a little bit confusing. And so you'll have to decide, you know, when you're navigating, uh, what you want to look at. These are part of the, uh, the, these are warning us about the quality of the data. The quality of the data. So if you come up here to the standard display, actually quality of data is not in the standard display. If we come up to Sanders got the buoys and uh, so forth, but now we come to other objects and that's where we'll get here this uh, information about the chart. M qual is the qual. These two, these two objects here are the ones that bring you those symbols across the chart to tell you the accuracy of the data. We have that discussed elsewhere. And so these are all the other objects like, like that. Okay, so those are the three basic displays. I want to go to the end and show a special, a special option that QTVLM has called a detailed display. And now if I go, let me go actually back to the chart, Shift Command V, and then here's where you set that. That's all. That's a standard, that's a base. And again, I can, I can fire these off with a keystroke. And, uh, and custom turns on these and then you click which one you want on and off. And it will remember which ones you have chosen in the past. Like you want to shut off these things are the ones that are cluttering up the data over here and so forth. But we don't want customized. The, the one that's basically going to be the most common is the one called detail. And detailed will turn on basically all, all of the options here, except that then it respects these other settings. And let me come back to the canned picture I made of that uh, cancel, which was where um, here. And, and these are, okay, so yeah, I've chosen detailed here. And so then what it will honor is your, your control over scale minimum, the SCA min. Now that will, you can, you can control that. That's another topic. We have videos and articles about that and it's in our cheat sheet. But the point about it is if you turn on all, if you turn on all, it shows all objects on the chart and shuts off SCA min. So SCAMIN is, is a property that on some scales objects don't show. Well, when you turn all on, it shuts SCAMIN off. So everything is showing on all scales. And then and you have this one, chart information object. This is one you're going to probably always want to just leave off because this includes all the details about the, uh, the, all these symbols here. These symbols across, oh, you can't see that. Uh, let me you know, these, uh, all the, these symbols here are all part of that category of chart information. So this you'd probably always want to leave off. Horizontal national text, that's not a big deal. That means it just, if, if, if you're looking at a French chart, then you'll see both French and English uh, subtitles, I mean, uh, text on the charts. That says no hurt, you always just leave that on. Uh, that it's valuable even, but this one important text only. That's something you always want to leave off because that, that's an unusual setting. It's, defi it's defined by the code by the standard. However, it just literally shuts off all text. 
uh, except maybe the height of a bridge. And then the chart information, depth soundings. If you have this on or off, it will, it will remember what you had there. And likewise, what you've chosen for lights. So the recommendation is that most mariners will find that in using the program QTVLM, that the setting detailed, uh, detailed choice will be, uh, will be the best bet. And uh, I think I'll stop there. We have these documents. Uh, we, we have these and other documents related uh, to this uh, available in the course.